Yes, good morning to Messy Table. Now, uh, today is a bit of a destruction and rebuild video. And uh, yeah, these relays are going to be part of it. And uh, it all started out yesterday um, when I was trying to charge the car. And instead of uh, charging, the charger would uh, simply stop. So I realized uh, it couldn't close the car side relays because their threshold voltage must have risen by the high temperatures that we had like two days ago, 40 degrees. So I didn't switch on and the boost mode charger couldn't put its voltage anywhere and um, decided to give up. Now I used to have a, an RGBT module here and I bravely decided to do, replace it by a TO247 MOS, no, RGBT. And I put it all in here and uh, yeah, fired up Richman's charger, uh, Pullman's charger and this is the result. Charcoal everywhere, um, the shockwave even bent the rear and front metal cover a bit and this charger is now currently out of service. Now, while I was at my destruction derby, I decided um, I should work on a rather wintry topic, <coughs> which is being able to charge the car while it's turned on. You know, most people can't charge the car when it's turned off. I can't charge it when it's turned on due to some unique way that I uh, control certain signals. Um, yes, so uh, I played with the software a bit and um, well, what I managed to do is weld my Chidemo contactors. So these come from Nissan and they were welded. <coughs> and this one uh, I kind of freed by hammering it. And this one uh, gave up its ghost while I took the terminal off like this. One stud came off and you can see if the camera can focus on something like that. You might be able to see the charring marks from the welding in the front of there. So I'm not sure if it's a good idea to hammer um, welded relays um, open again that carry continuous current. Maybe it's not a good idea in the first place. Anyway, so these relays uh, are now out of the game. So next up were these very hefty kilowack kilo or gigawack contactors. And while this one is very good, this black one, uh, the other, this white one that I had uh, lying around here is also very good, but it takes a hefty 2 amp uh, current pulse to pull. And then the economizer kicks in and it drops to like 200 milliamps. But I don't think all Gdemo chargers um, can supply those 2 amps starting current and I certainly know my home built chargers won't be able <coughs> as well because I just have some ULN drivers in there. So um, at least this white one is out as well. So um, I do consider just getting another black one and um, yeah, finishing the circuit with two of these. Mm, now, as you can see, I um, mounted one of those Nissan copper brackets on there. And these change uh, the studs from M8 to M6 because all the um, cable lugs in my car and the various bus bars are M6. And we are going to take a look at um, the DC junction area underneath the car in a second. Now, last option could have been these. Um, these are some Chinese brand, I don't know, 10 euro relays of eBay that are supposedly rated uh, 200 amps. Uh, they would never be able to interrupt uh, any serious current, but I mean, that's not what charge port relays do. They just close with no current and they open with no current. So from that point, that would be okay. But um, I've actually relay, uh, used these relays in the charge port application for a while. And yeah, this is what happens to them. Um, you can see though, this is usually coppery color, like this plate down here. But uh, you, you can see it totally overheated, especially in the area in the front here, close to the 
close to contact. So I don't think these relays are appropriate for 125 amp charge current, especially on the 40 kilowatt hour pack. I mean, this was only in service for the 24 kilowatt hour pack, which would charge like a 125 amp for 10 minutes and then cut back anyway. But the 40 pack is gonna charge at um, 125 amps for, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour. And I don't think these relays would survive that without maybe causing a fire. So they are out as well. Good, let's go downstairs and take a look at the DC junction box and what I plan to do. All right, welcome to the graveyard. Kind of hard to talk here. Um, so this is what it could look like. Mm. So basically I've got a bus bar running to the negative contactor, a very long one. Um, over there and here is our negative battery cable that would connect before the contactor like straight into into here and then this is our negative to demo cable denoted by this obvious line here and here's our positive to demo cable uh, denoted by this red um, piece of tape here yeah so with some support I could uh, mount this side mounted um, what's that gigavac contactor that's economized and all that onto my little baseboard here and then a an upright contactor um, could mount right here yeah as you can see it's it's all bus bars meanwhile Sorry for the flickering light, I know it's terrible. Um, yeah, so this bus bar extends behind the fuse to the positive contactor right here. And then it's all safe to work on because we've got our Nissan safety plug pulled out through our little safety plug port here. Now look what I found while searching for something completely different. It's another gigavac contactor so this is a new bus bar layout the battery minus is going to connect to this one right here that way i don't have to drill open this lug which i really didn't look forward to and then we have a shorter bus bar coming from the plus going to the contactor and a longer bus bar from the minus going to the contactor um, the two gigavacs are going to be sequenced which means um, first the left one engages and then while these auxiliary contacts or while the, the auxiliary contact it switches on the second one and that reduces the turn on peak and I've tested in that case 1.3 amps are enough to close uh, the contactors as opposed to uh, 2 amps when they are simply in parallel all right all finished charge port plus minus battery plus minus all being merged together here and uh, yeah time to close it all up again all right all done let's do a charge test Tag. Guten Tag. geht die wieder nicht Äh, uh, nee, war mein Fehler. Ich hab okay, vergessen, gut. das Auto auszumachen. Gut. So, ein Set nach vorne gehabt, aber Charlie Moore haben wir eh nicht vorne. Ja, ja. Das wäre jetzt... Ja, es gibt ja bei VW auch noch die... Also, ich finde schon... Ja, ja. Gut. Ein interessantes Konzept. Selber, selber umgebaut? Ja, ja. Ehrlich? Jetzt nur einmal. Okay. Ah, fiebt also, schon mal. Was ja. Was Batterie haben Sie da drin? Nissan Leaf. Okay. Ja, also sie hat zufälligerweise genau das reingepackt, wo normal der Brand...